Did I nail the pronunciation of your last name on Wuzurike? Please say yes. Yeah, Owens. Yes, sir. You did pretty good. Owens Boom, there it is. Oh, pretty yeah. good. See, Levi, <laughs> I don't think, and, and I called one of your games in high school, I believe, when you played Denton Ryan in like a regional final. And mm-hmm. I, I first saw your last name and was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm really, really intimidated here. But if you just <laughs> sound it out, it's really not that bad. What's like the weirdest pronunciation you've ever heard of somebody try and say your name? Man, that's a good question. Let me think. I always get, but like, on Zerky. I think that's the weird. Okay. Have you had any interaction with the Cowboys at all? Yeah, I had a meeting with them maybe two weeks ago, a week ago. Oh, okay, very cool. So, so walk us through that. What is that like? Is it is it you one on one in a Zoom with with Jerry? Is it Steven? Is it Will McClay? Is it some of the coaches? Like, what does that look like? Uh, from what I can remember, uh, I've had a lot of meetings since then. But <laughs> it was a, uh, I think it was the whole staff there when I was interviewing with them and. uh I was talking to mostly Will and some of the coaches, I believe, and then you'll have the GMs and other guys kind of just just listening in on it. That's awesome, man. So, uh, and are you? Do you live in the area? Obviously, you went to school at Allen. Are do, are you back local, or are you still up in Washington doing your training, or, or what is that like for you right now? Yeah, right now I'm still in Seattle, just training out here until we go to Indianapolis on the seventh. Then I'll be back home working out. Uh, in Texas, back in Allen on the 10th of April. How cool would it be to uh, to end up becoming a Cowboy, man? Would that be just like yeah. a total dream come true? I would love that. I've already played in the stadium a hell of times. That's I'd true. Love to, love to play there. So when, you, when you're playing inside, do you have a specific defense or position that you prefer? You know, you mentioned playing defensive end. Do you prefer playing that three-tech, the one-tech, the nose? Any, any kind of specific defense that maybe you fit better in? Uh, no, not really. For me, I like it all, to be honest. I like to be specifically in the zero, the three, or the five. Those are kind of my spot, spots I like to be in, but it's, it's pretty versatile. So, Levi, what's the what's the draft night plans for you right now? Do you have, are you going ni- to do a nice little house party? Are you going to be here local for, for draft night? <laughs> yeah, I'll be in Allen. Nothing crucial, just be there chilling with the family. Some fam hanging out, absolutely going to have a nice spread, I'm sure. I, we're, we're always interested, especially when we get the big fellas on here. Walchuk and I, we are big foodies up in here, man. We talk food <laughs> practically every every night, and, and I would be remiss if I didn't wish you a happy National Deep Dish Pizza Day, uh, so I hope you are celebrating accordingly. But uh, <laughs> I, am, I am curious, when, uh, when the big dogs get together, man, you and the other defensive linemen up there in Washington, and you guys are just you guys are going hard on some food, What what is the – if someone came up to you and said, "Yo, man, I could eat. I could out eat you in you know whatever it is." What what would be the what would be the time that you would point to and say, "No, bro." Uh, if you remember a couple years ago, I put down X amount of you know just an insane amount of food. Like, what is your peak level <laughs> of dominating some grub? <laughs> man, I, I, our coaches, Coach Malloy's house, he makes this great cowby ribs, and I could eat fifty of those if I had to. So. I think Calbee is my food. If anybody pulls that up, I'm eating more than you. You, though, do have some teammates that are also big-name prospects in the upcoming draft. Can you share with us a little bit about uh, Joe Tryon, Elijah Molden, some of your other peers that are going through this process with you? Yeah, so Joe Tryon, that's that's one of the dudes. Joe Tryon and Josiah Bronson, two of the guys I work out with. I mean, Josiah, Josiah is a dog, kind of my size, my bill, real strong dude. Push you back, D lineman. A good pass rush ability. And then Joe Tryon, real strong dude. He has he's the one with the length. I think he's like six 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 five. Strong dude, very versatile in the pass rush. Just an elite player. I work out with both of them. And then obviously got E three Elijah Molden, who's kind of like the honey badger of U Dub. But I would say he's he's kind of he's more smarter, more technical than Tyron Matthews, and real smart player. One person who can use his brains, apply it into his body, and then apply it on the field. And then we also got Keith Taylor, one of our cornerbacks. Long, lengthy corner. He's 6'3", dude, elite player. We might have a morning show host at this very station, and I know there's some other prospects and teams that, for whatever reason, devalue the defensive tackle position. Like, oh, you don't need to spend high picks on those guys. I think they're dead wrong. I think defensive tackle has become one of the more important positions in football, period. 
No quarterback likes pressure up the middle in his face. Levi, as somebody who plays the position and is about to play it in the National Football League, sell everyone out there who doubts the defensive tackle importance. Yeah, that's basically the bricklayer of the defense. Uh, if you don't have the defensive tackles, everything is done. They can run up the middle. They can do QB draws. I think defensive tackles are basically your inside containment. So you 100% want defensive tackles just like you want your ends. If you if you don't have good defensive tackles, your ends can't make plays because that quarterback is stepping up, throwing the ball. 